Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Ashley McDowell. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. A couple is sentenced for receiving meth in the mail. Also tonight, we speak with the head of the safety company for the IPI Casino Hotel. And catching a ride with Coda has, been, has even more benefits. We tell you why. In sports, we have our first interscholastic champions of the new school year. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. Great customer rep. Always willing to go above and beyond for his customers. I truly hope she noticed. She gets noticed at work since I do see sh she is a hard worker. A food technician that visited my home was great and helpful. Thank you. Thank you. You really keep it up. Your customer service is always very good. Awesome customer service with great technicians that are really helpful. Thank you so much, Sherlyn and Docomo Pacific. That's so sweet. <laughs> feels good to see these kind of messages because, uh, you know, we try our best to do customer service. We make sure that we will 100% uh, resolve the issues. For all those people that are seeking assistance. I just want my customers happy. And help them out each and every day. I would want to go to a place with someone that's just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Come to Docomo and uh, you'll feel like you're at home. going out each day, doing what they can to hold us all together. We're here to help those helping us all by keeping our lights on. Alpha Day, Turawami, and good evening, Commonwealth. Today is Monday, December 7th, 2020. Three new individuals tested positive for COVID-19 over the weekend. These individuals were identified through travel screening and confirmed positive through testing upon arrival. This brings the total of positive COVID-19 cases in the CNMI to 109 since March. According to the COVID-19 diagnosis source, all three originated from the U.S. mainland. CHCC states the individuals are in isolated quarantine at Kanoa and contact tracing has been initiated. A couple is sentenced to 10 years in prison after receiving methamphetamine or ICE through the mail. In federal court last Friday, Chief Judge Mangonia sentenced Vince Koki Leon Guerrero and his girlfriend, Evelyn Chong Taidingo, to 120 months or 10 years in prison for possessing an intent to distribute 50 grams of ice. According to court documents back in February of 2018, Leon Guerrero, along with Tadinko and co-defendant Elaine DeMay, picked up a package knowing that it contained meth from the post office in San Vicente. The package was addressed to Debbie Lee and had a net weight of 110.03 grams with a purity level of 100 percent. Leon Guerrero was remanded to the United States Marshal and Tadinko was to surrender herself to the United States Marshal today at 1 p.m. More tonight with the head of the safety company responsible for IPI Casino Hotel construction site. Chris Nelson has more. David Rolera Jr. says that safety protocols at the job site have been repeatedly ignored. DR Safety 
has been on site for the last few years. They also say they haven't been paid, at least as of late, after working to get the job site back open. Rolera details some of the history of accidents on the site. Dave, you were there when the, there was an accident with a car that was crushed um, with uh, something that I think the crane either dropped or swung into. Tell, tell me what happened. On, on that issue, um, basically there were, there were um, rigging up uh, a roll of rebars and they were close to the power line, right? And one of my guys saw them and had asked the operator to stop. And it wasn't up yet. It was maybe two feet high. And he, he got overruled by one of the IPI management to keep going. So what happened is that they kept going and that line, that um, the crane line wire got in contact with the high voltage and it sh and shot the rebar out and the rebar went through the ABC van. So it, it didn't smash it like this. It actually, the, the roll, the front part, the whole roll went straight through. Good thing there wasn't anybody in there. They tried to cover up a lot of accidents, even the one um, where the guys got injured um, off of the um, floor railing, um, out, the outside um, railing, that thing collapsed, right? And it collapsed because they overloaded. It's not supposed to be loaded with any materials. That thing can only hold up to 5,000 pounds, but they put the, you know, the wall fascia that you see outside the white wall fascia. That was all stacked on that um, platform. So that platform collapsed. And we even showed OSHA um, a picture that we, we even um, red taped it for no one to go on it. They removed it. Right. So uh, the other accident, too, that they that they covered up was um, one of the Taiwanese guys. Right. The wall fascia fell on his leg and broke his leg. He went to the hospital and uh, got treated and then they sent him home. That one OSHA couldn't come out because it was COVID. But um, you know they 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 couldn't do any kind of an investigation. All they can do was call and IPI. Uh, when OSHA called me back, they told IPI told OSHA there wasn't any accidents. Yeah, a lot of accidents happen because um, they feel that they didn't need to follow uh, regulations. So. If they're not following regulations on the safety side, what more on the construction side? Thank you, Chris. The Department of Public Lands is asking for the legislature's help in amending Public Law 16-50 so that individuals can qualify to receive the first agricultural homestead in Pagan. The Department of Public Lands has um, set aside agricultural homestead lots for the island of Pagan. Um, we set uh, our surveyors out there for over a month in 2017 and they staked out and um, marked different lots for the 88 agricultural homesteads. Now agricultural homesteads um, was set up by Public Law 1650 which again we have to comply with and one of the requirements is that the uh, in order to be eligible, the applicant would have had to reside there for one year. But that has not happened yet, as some individuals of Northern Mariana's descent have spent a few months on the island, but have not resided for a year. And Terragezo says village homesteads cannot be issued on Pagan because there is no infrastructure. There is no hospital, there is no police, there is no fire, uh, service, emergency services, uh, dispensary, schools. So um, without those civil amenities in place, the only um, immediate action that DPO could do is provide agricultural homesteads. Until the law is amended, the 88 lots on Pagan will remain idle. But Tergezo says DPO will be moving forward with the program onto the next Northern Island. We're going to um, begin uh, with our plans for the next Northern Island to establish another agriculture homestead. So even if the law is in place, the law is only restricting people, right? But we have to continue with our, our mandates 
and so we'll move on to the next island and whenever um, the law is amended then you can go back to Pauline. then we can distribute by that time that it's amended we can distribute probably in two or three islands customers using the commonwealth office of transit authority will now have a little more to look forward to when catching a ride coda is now providing free wi-fi connectivity on all their service transit fleet vehicles this is partnership with docomo pacific coda officials say it is an early christmas present to all of their current and future riders Coming up, we take you to the new addition to Pow Pow Beach. Stay tuned. Jose and Pedro were born on the very same day. Jose liked to play sports. Pedro liked to play video games. Jose's favorite word was pass. Pass me the ball. Pedro's favorite word was pass too. Pass me the rice. Jose is retired and has both time and energy. His life is just beginning. Pedro has diabetes, hypertension, and gout. His life could soon end. Eat less, play more, live longer. Brought to you by PHI, the pharmacy you can trust. Buy one, get one free for the off-road adventure at Marianas Trekking. Come ride our side-by-sides at our best price ever and experience a great 90-minute trail ride. Rain or shine, hopefully rain. Book now at Marianas Trekking. Saturdays and Sundays by reservation. Call 323-8735 or book at marianastrekking.com. Make it special. Make it 360. The best food and views all the way around. A meal replacement smoothie is a great way to keep your fitness goals on track during the holiday season and they taste great, fast, and easy. The December smoothie of the month is Minty Java Chocolate Chip and it's just $5. Check out the Shake Cafe Gold's Gym. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. A new addition has been added to Pow Pow Beach that will benefit all those who visit the site. One, two, three. Yay! It's something we typically don't think about when out in a public area. Because, let's face it, it's usually there. It's a restroom. But it's something Pow Pow Beach, located in San Roque, has not had for quite some time until now so it's been almost o over a year project and then uh, you know we had uh, we had to take this seriously because it's just right next to one of our facility then then also this is one of the um, very popular spot for the locals so uh, we felt that this is important and, and uh, we wanted to expedite it but uh, you know there's a few obstacles that we had to overcome but finally we did it and uh, we're very happy with it Shin says the new restrooms are part of the facelift of the Marianas tourist sites and Eland has joined in on the public-private partnership initiative with the Governor's Council of Economic Advisors to do their part. 
Even our company as a whole, uh, we're, we're going through some really tough time. And then, um, you know, at the end of the day, we felt that, um, you know, preparing ourselves for the uh, next tour, uh, next rounds of, uh, you know, returning of our customer, which we hope that it's going to be soon, but um, obviously we don't have a timeline yet. Uh, but, you know, we felt that it's really important that, you know, we just get ready ourselves and then, you know, make the place uh, presentable for our, um, for our tourists coming back. The facility costs around $20,000 and consists of one female restroom, one male restroom, and an outdoor shower. But one important part is missing, the water. Shin says they are working with CUC to get the pipes connected for running water. I think CUC is working on this. Uh, I think there's a little bit of a challenge to locate the, uh, the, 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 the line because it's been out of commission for a while. So, um, but but I, tr I, I was told that they're, they're expediting this process as well so that the uh, public actually can enjoy the benefit as soon as possible. As for maintenance, that will be left up to the CNMI Division of Parks and Recreation, who will also determine the open hours of the facility. There has been no date set yet for when the water will be connected for the restrooms to be open to the public. On Guam, a new plan is released for rapid COVID-19 testing for hotel and restaurant employees. KUAM reports. Hafiday Sinemai, here's what's making news on Guam. The Guam Hotel and Restaurant Association unveiled a new plan for rapid testing of employees today. A plan that could not only pave the way for the further easing of business restrictions, but perhaps more importantly, help contain the asymptomatic spread of the virus. Here's more. GHRA President Mary Rhodes explained the Not La Homlu Islata or Let's Heal Our Island plan on KUAM's The Link Show. It's a rapid testing program for asymptomatic employees. So once GHRA is notified by an employer that they want to be part of this program, the employers will get training and all the tools that they are uh, that they need in order to participate in this program. This software, it doesn't matter what test is being used, it can actually um, track live, real live data, um, real time. Um, it can track serology, antigen, PCR testing. Um, it takes all tests. She says employers would be trained on how to upload their demographics ahead of the employee testing. The results come in about 10 minutes, 10 to 15 minutes. So immediately the, uh, on that same visit, the results would be uploaded to the digital contact tracing software. And as you can see, once it's uploaded, public health would be able to see it via a secured cloud that they'll have read-only access to. The employee will also get notified. And then the employer group would have uh, their own portal, which is limited. They won't have access to everything. They're only going to see the reporting. GHRA is working with the American Medical Center and Public Health and hopes to get more and more businesses to buy into the program. She says they also met with the governor as federal subsidies could be a key to an ongoing program. If we are able to get CARES Act dollars, this can really serve a greater purpose in testing regularly our government, public sector, as well as uh, private sector employees who have continued to work um, this entire time through the pandemic. Road says they're also working on a separate plan with GVB to benefit the tourism industry. Stay informed 24-7 by checking out KUAM.com or downloading the KUAM News app available for iOS or Android. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matanani. All right, coming up in the KSPN2 Sports Report, I have a message for you all. A nice one too, I do believe. Thank you for being here with us. For finding ways to keep things happening. For making things feel a lot better. Thank you. Energize, realize, feels so good just to be alive. Time's a gift, my time is free. I can spend it on you, you can spend it on me. I can say you'll be blown away, but the change you see, you see me. And I feel alright, dance alright, put a little flavor in my life. Thank you for staying strong with us. And for us. Thank you for always connecting. For keeping us together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you for reminding us that despite this distance, we are still better together. Dokomo Pacific, better together. The Tan Sri Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The Foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. Hi, I'm Dre, one of the personal trainers here at Ghost Gym and today I want to go over some exercises that you can easily apply into your current exercise program. Now I have here with me Vince and he's going to be demoing some of those exercises. Now the first one today is going to be a one-arm dumbbell row. Before I have Vince here execute a few reps, what we want to remember with virtually any exercise is your setup. If you start in a bad position, it's not going to look good and it's certainly not going to feel good. So a common mistake with here is obviously a rounded upper back and as you can see he's not very rigid or stable so what we're gonna do is correct that just a little bit so his supporting arm and his leg that's supported on the bench as well is gonna we want to lock that in open up that leg a little bit to allow for a better path on that dumbbell with the elbows coming up way too high you can see the shoulders riding forward and that's not what we want so ideally well, what you want to think about is pulling with your elbows and stopping right at the midline of your body so in this position right here you can feel his entire upper back along with his core. Did you know CNMI's coral reefs and seagrass ecosystems are worth about $115 million a year? Coral reefs alone are valued over $100 million a year. All the more reason these precious ecosystems must continue to be protected. Coral reefs are important to the people of the CNMI because they provide traditional and subsistence uses, production of commercial food products, recreational opportunities for a healthy tourist economy, and physical protection from storms. Do not break or collect coral to take home with you. We need them. Corals are living animals, and it takes decades to create reef structures. Planting trees, grass, and shrubs on bare soil helps prevent sediment from entering our oceans. Trees also help fight climate change. Use a rain barrel and collect water from roofs, yards, and paved surfaces. You can help keep storm water on your property and pollutants out of waterways by building a rain garden. The ocean floor isn't a dance floor. Stepping on corals can break them. Maintain buoyancy when snorkeling or diving. Nutrients from excess fertilizer increases algae growth that blocks sunlight to corals. Coral reefs need clean, clear water to survive. Help keep our beaches litter-free. Always take out your own trash and a little bit more. Anchor in sandy areas away from coral and seagrass or use mooring buoys so the anchor and chain do not drag on nearby corals. Reduce, reuse, rethink, repair, Refuse. Recycle. Do not feed the fish. Do not take or step on coral. Do not collect shells. Do not fish. Help with local tree planting community events, local beach cleanups, and get involved in protecting your watershed. Participate in training or education programs that focus on reef ecology. You can make a difference. Please contact Nina to get involved in community conservation. Tonight's sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Point of sports, sports fans. fans.
Point of sports fans, PSS finishes their first interscholastic sports competition since last March. For that, let's get up before sunrise Saturday morning and drive to Airport Field. Or we could run there. <laughs> See what PSS Athletic Director Nick Gross did? He used his own lawnmower to cut the grass. As you can see, this is not your normal home lawn. Runners were running for medals and personal pride. MHS Dolphins warming up, ready to roll. Yes, it was very early in the morning. Pre-race predictions? Uh, I'm going to top number one. You? All right, I'm going to be looking forward to that. I think your number is backwards. Is that okay? Are you... <laughs> 201 or <laughs> good morning <laughs> you dressed in the dark Tiana Cabrera she won every qualifier how you feeling I'm okay any uh, pre-race predictions oh I hope I do well and I hope I get a better time than last time pre-race jitters yes <laughs> MHS present Saipan Southern High School absent Tagman High School absent all right runners to your mark and they're off Agape Christian School Boys jump to the early lead, followed by SIS, MHS, and Mount Carmel. This is a 5K, three laps around the field, all of it on grass. And there's your leader. Finishing the first lap, we saw something rarely seen in interscholastic sports here, unsportsmanlike conduct. One ACS runner interfering with another runner to help his teammate. But after officials called it out, 17-year-old Josh Josen was able to break free and win easily. Mighty Dolphins! Yeah. Woo! Yes! There he is. Yay! Wow. Number 20. 1944. Very well, it's about that time. What do you think of that? Very great time. Awesome time. This, by these conditions, with COVID, no activities, that was actually a great time. Judge. You know, on that first lap, I saw that Agape student uh, was blocking you off. What was going on there? Uh, yeah, uh, he followed me, uh, I think, first lap. Okay. Then going up here, he started doing that. Yeah. Then when, he, when we reached there, he, he did the same thing. And yeah, I don't know, it just somewhat disappointed me and like yeah. kept me going. This youngster is showing great potential. I hope so, I can do better. Because I'm still in a young age. How many races have you done in your life? Uh, I think probably about six or more. You got any plans to keep running? Yes, I'm trying to pursue my, one of my dreams to step on the Olympic Games. Yes. <laughs> All right, good luck. SIS took first place for the boys' teams, followed by Agape MHS in Mount Carmel. Agape Christian School won the girls' team trophy, followed by SIS MHS in Mount Carmel. 15-year-old Tiana Cabrera, she was the first among the girls. Last time it was 22.45, but this time I got 22.09. That's a pretty good one. You happy? Yeah, very happy. All right. Well, elementary and middle schools also had their cross-country cross finals. That was on Friday. We're going to have those highlights on Wednesday's show. Today marks my 27th anniversary, bringing you local sports. So I wrote a little appreciation poem dedicated to you, who've made it all possible. Now finishing year 27 on a job that, for me, dropped down from heaven, I would like to say thank you to you all. Fast, slow, short, tall, big, and small. It's you, the community, and what you achieve that keeps me working, I do believe. One by one, I see my friends retire and think, do I still have that fire to go out and cover the sports of the day, or should I just chill and stay away? Well, the reason I've kept going all these years is because I love to hear your cheers for all the players and the teams who come to play. For that, I stand on the sideline and shout hooray. In 1998, Elmer Sablon yelled, did you get that, Bob? A phrase so friendly and fun, I forgot it's just a job. I've heard it a thousand times, and truth be told, I love hearing it, and it never gets old. You and me, we've been through so much, good and bad. 
I wouldn't trade this job for any other. I'm so glad. These days, as I contemplate the future and my fate, I don't know anything except today I start year 28. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Go-karts, off-roading, and the driving range now open at Marianas Trekking. Go-kart track will be open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays with 50% off when you book online at MarianasTrekking.com. Hours, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Use the promo code HAFA50 to get your discount. Off-roading is open too by reservation. Come on a 90-minute trail ride that is perfect for families. Book online at MarianasTrekking.com. Golfers, come practice on the driving range. You can even pay online and we will have the balls waiting for you. Come see us weekends at Marianas Trekking, 323-8735. Do you have the flexibility to work out between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m.? At Gold's Gym, we call this off-peak, and it can save you money. Short-term daytime memberships on sale now, just $59 per month, and gets you access to the biggest and cleanest fitness center on island. Get yourself healthy and strong. Check out Gold's Gym today. All right, today's high 86, low 80, 91% humidity off and on rain. We had six inches of rain the first six days of this month. Tomorrow, partly cloudy, isolated showers. East winds 15 to 20, high 87, low 78, seas 5 to 8 feet. Sunrise 631 tomorrow morning, a low tide 658, high tide 225, sunset at 547. That is your news, your sports, and your weather. Thank you for watching this Monday evening. It's over. We'll see you back here on Wednesday. Good night.